All right, so we just got done updating our units to the current software. Um, we've got our map card put back in into this unit. Now we wanna insert a data card so we can save our waypoints, maybe screenshots from our sonar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a data card into this other unit here. And now that I've got two cards in, I wanna make sure that all my user data is going to the card that I prefer. So first thing, we've, we've done this, but going to Communications Marine Network, and we've labeled all of our graphs so that we know which graph we're referencing. So this is my console port graph. This is my console star, starboard graph that I've named in, under my marine devices. So I'm gonna go back here to Navigational Info. I'm gonna go to Manage Data, and I'm gonna select Preferred Memory Card for each graph. So any, any data I'm saving, I know that I wanna use my console star, starboard graph, which is where my data card is. So I'm gonna hit select. Same on this other graph, I'm gonna go on this one, navigational info, manage data, preferred memory card, memory card one, and that's that. Now I'll go up to the bow and I'll open my nav info page on that graph, go to manage data, and I'll uh, select my preferred memory card and I'll hit console starboard slot one which will reference this memory card back here to save all my waypoints and sonar images. Now this is important because you don't want to clutter your map card, which has a bunch of, of navigation data on it. You don't want to cover that card up with your waypoints and your images, which could potentially slow down the processor. I like to keep them separate. That way when I'm pulling a card out to take and view uh, on another graph, um, I know I can take that and leave my map with the boat. 